Welcome back to my channel, guys. Next in food, I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. And yes, I am going to share with you how to make my banana bread. Banana bread is a big part of, you know, Jamaican food. I don't know when it came to us or who did it first, but we love it. We have it um, in coffee breaks. If you're at home and you just want to bake something, the first thing you want to think about baking is banana bread. So let's look at what you need for banana bread. You need ripe banana, good ripe banana. You see how these look almost overripe? This is how you want them. This is the perfect bananas to make banana bread, all right? And so you also need some other stuff. You need some spices like cinnamon. You need nutmeg. You're going to need some oil. You can also use melted butter or margarine or even shortening, but I only use oil in my banana bread. You need some sugar for sweet, and I'm using a combination of brown sugar and white sugar. You need some eggs. You will also need both baking powder and baking soda. And then of course, we need some flour. I like to use whole wheat flour and white flour. I love the whole wheat flour because it has more protein. And of course, protein is the gluten that is found in the flour. And it, I find that it gives the banana bread a texture that I like and I love different textures when I'm eating. So I like to use 50% whole wheat flour and 50% white flour. What that means is that I use two cups of whole wheat flour and two cups of white flour. So that's what is in this container. You also need your loaf pans to make your banana bread. And I like to line them with some grease paper or brown paper. Let's make some banana bread. So you need a whisk. The whisk combines both flour. So I'm combining the white flour and the whole wheat flour. I'm going to also add my baking soda. Baking soda is going to give the bread its second rise. I add my baking powder as well. I want to add some salt. Salt is very important in baking. It just makes the finished product taste much better. So this is our dry ingredients. I'm just going to put it off to the side and then we're going to go in and start our wet ingredients. So let us start with the superstar, the banana. So all you need to do is just peel the bananas, put them in into the bowl. I love to use the bananas that are speckled on the outside. You know, these are the brown spots is what I refer to as it being speckled. So the ripe of the banana, the sweeter it is. And I've always used six bananas. I love that strong banana taste. So you just peel them. If there's any part like this part, I want to take that out because that part don't look so wholesome. So you know you want to use wholesome bananas, but they must be very, very ripe for best results. Then you go in with a fork. Just go in with a fork and you want to just crush it. See that? Just crush your bananas. You could put everything in a blender for a smoother consistency, but I'm doing it manually because I like the little chunks of bananas into my banana bread. Okay, so that's our six ripe bananas. Then I'm going to add our sugar. I'm using one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. I'm also using four eggs. All of that goes in. I love to bake with dried milk powder. So I'm using a quarter cup of milk powder. I'm using one cup of vegetable oil, cinnamon, 
vanilla. And just because I'm using baking soda, I like to use an acid. And this is some lime juice. I'm also using some freshly grated nutmeg, about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to go in with my whisk and get all of this totally mixed in. You want to mix this in nice and good before you add the dry ingredients. So get in there and use your whisk. If you don't have a whisk, remember you can also just put it into the blender and puree it out until it is nice and smooth. So you wanna mix it until you have one uniform looking mixture. You don't wanna see the egg, you wanna mix it everything in. All right, I think that's it. Let me just put these over. Then I'm gonna come in with my wooden spoon and I'm gonna add my flour a little bit at a time and just fold it in. All right some more so I'm adding the flour in three parts banana is a quick bread and the method that we're using to make this banana bread is referred to in the bake shop as the two-stage method what that means you usually combine all the liquid ingredients in one container and you combine the dry ingredients which is the flour and usually the baking powder and baking soda in another container and then you combine them so that is what we call the two-stage method or the muffin method it's very 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 easy to do you don't need to have a mixer to do this and this is all that it is our banana bread is ready to go into the oven now that took me literally five minutes from start to finish to get the banana bread going i think that's why people love making banana bread so much it's not complicated and it's very very easy to make so now i'm gonna pour it in my pans i'm gonna divide my batter between both pans so put half in one and then the other half in. Just get all of that goodness out of the container. Use your spatula, a rubber spatula to help you to scrape the batter out this one looks like it have a little bit more so i'm just going to take some out and add to this one because i want them to bake at the same time all right that looks like it just get all of that off all right so just for some texture i like to add some roll oats on top Just on one and these are ready for the oven these will bake at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven all right guys it has been 40 minutes and the banana breads are out of the oven so we have the one with, that I added the roll oats on top I also went ahead and add some pecans because I like the pecan flavor with the banana bread. And this one I like, I, I, I didn't add anything. This one is just plain on top. So 40 minutes later, our banana breads are ready. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am your diva chef, Simone Walker Barrett. See you next time.